I'm Maddie, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cool outlet or light switch plate. Now, you can you will need duct tape, colored or pattern, like solid colored or pattern. And I know what you're going to say. Okay, I don't want this to look unlined up. But the truth is, when you put it on your wall from a distance, you can't even notice that there's a pattern and it's not lined up. You'll need the light switch or outlet plate, scissors, or an X-Acto knife. If you need, you can also use an utility knife, and a pen or a pencil. Mine has a fishy. Woo-doo! Okay, so to start, you are going to take your outlet plate and your duct tape, and you're going to want to rip out a strip, if I can get this out. And you want to put this right across the center with a little bit of excess on each side. Now, cut this. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to flip your plate over to the back. Now, you're going to want to fold up both sides on one side and fold it in. Now to do this to the other side. Now, I know there's going to be little bumps here. Just avoid them. It's not going to make a difference. But try your best to smooth it out. Now, you're going to cut straight down the middle of this in the center. Next, you're going to pull it apart and fold them. This will give you a nice clean cut around your outlet. Smooth it out in the front and pull out your next strip for either the top or the bottom. Now, you want to overlap by a little bit, but you want to have a lot hanging off the side. I mean, the, like, top. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this, again, a little bit of excess on each side. The excess is important to get a smooth line. Now, this part's a little bit different. First of all, you have to cut it in a different way in the middle. And second of all, you have to get it around the corner. To do this, you just want to take it from here and you want to cut out little corners. Just cut out your little corners, just like this. Now, you want to fold over both sides. Well, all three of them. Smooth that out. And now, it's time to learn how to cut the inside so that you get a smooth, clean effect. To do this, you want to take your knife and you want to cut it in sort of like a triangle. A triangle doesn't have to be perfectly triangular. Now, you want to pull the top up this side and then the other side. Don't worry about not being able to see the hole to put the screw in. Now you just want to do the same thing on this side. Now to do the little screw holes. This is when your pen comes in handy. Now, if you're using a pencil, it doesn't have to be sharpened, as weird as that might sound. Be sure that everything is all smoothed out and what you want to do is you want to flip this over and you want to make a little dent. It doesn't have to be that big. I don't know if you can even see that from the front but or the back, but whatever. But you'll be able to see it. So what you want to do is you want to push this through. And then I'll just 
just push it through on the other side. Might not look perfect, but once you put your screws in, you just stick it on your wall. It's pretty cool. Plus, that didn't take very much time at all. Thank you for watching, and remember, send me if you love me.